What's up, guys? Creighton here from LogicLounge.com. Today, May 31st, 2012, Windows released the Windows 8 release preview. This is what Windows 8 is probably going to look like when it's released because it is a release preview prior to when it actually ships. So I've gone ahead, I've downloaded the 64-bit ISO file, and I've installed it. And now I'm on the main setup screen like I showed you guys last time in most of my other videos that I've done on Windows 8. They have more personalization options now uh, with different color schemes. So if I come in here, I can do greens or grays with oranges as highlights or very dark backgrounds with reds and stuff like that, which is kind of cool. Um, it gives you more personalized feel. I'm just going to click a simple one here. Let's go black with the blue. And since this is a virtual machine, I'm just going to name this virtual uh, and call it done. Moving on. We move through the extra setup procedures. Uh, you can choose to use Express Settings or customize it even further. I'm just going to use Express Settings. Uh, there's nothing really much that's different with doing custom to Express. Uh, right here, you do want to enter in your Hotmail address. And I'm going to do that right now. And click Next. So this is... Uh, your Hotmail address is basically for you to sync your data, kind of like Apple has iCloud. Well, that's the same thing with Windows 8 now. You can uh, go ahead and do all this stuff. So now it wants me to verify uh, and pick a phone number, an alternate address. We can do that. Um, you don't have to. I didn't do it, and it's creating my account right now. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and still create your account. This may take some time for you guys. Um, this Windows 8 release preview is supposed to be like the Apple Gold Master, where this is what could potentially be Windows 8. So right now, it is getting ready my PC, so that means that it's changing settings. It's getting everything ready uh, to my account. So we'll be right back once my account is set up. All right, here we are back at the Metro interface for Windows 8. You can see it looks a little bit different from what we saw the first time around. You can see they finalized the Metro icons and how they work and what they're showing up, uh, as well as applications and the App Store is finally available to be used and downloaded and stuff like that. Uh, Mail is right up there in front, and it really looks like Windows 8 is really Metro-centric. This was the first screen that popped up when I logged in. There was no, uh, there was no desktop. I mean, you do have the desktop right here. I mean, we can click on it and look. There's the desktop, but that's not the main focus anymore. The main focus right now is Metro and what they're going for. So you can see right here, I have mail and it tells me all the mail stuff. And I know my last video, I didn't blur out my email address, but who cares? It's a throwaway email address. Uh, you can see if I have people now, uh, if I have friends that I know, stuff like that. I can see what they're doing and get connected with them. Uh, you can see I can connect a Facebook account, a Twitter account, Exchange, LinkedIn, and I can add more accounts. And then I can easily see people who are connected with me and see what they're doing and what's new. Uh, that's basically what the people section is for. So it's getting more social as well, as you can see here. Uh, messaging, again, messenger, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it, it's a nice Metro interface uh, that looks very nice. I'm, I'm actually surprised how nice Metro looks. I love Metro, but again, don't really like it on the desktop. Uh, you can now add a Facebook account or any sort of other account. I'm sure they're going to add more later to chat with your friends. Uh, right now, it is just for Facebook, it looks like. Go ahead. You can look down here. It's uh, the wonderful desktop experience this is probably if i switch to windows 8 what i'm looking for you can see that everything has a little bit of a flatter finish to it if you look at the buttons and everything everything has a flat finish to it it's still that arrow design but it's it's flatter um that's how i would describe it and what's neat about windows or ie9 or however you want to call it you can actually pin specific websites to uh the starch bar so if i wanted bing uh to be pinned i can actually pin this to uh, my start menu. And you can see down here, they still haven't integrated the start menu. When you hover down here on the right-hand side and you click, this is basically your new start menu. 
Uh, moving on, we can see photos as well. I'm assuming it's going to pull from Facebook or wherever you have uh, photos from your Flickr account, SkyDrive photos, your photo library. You can get a nice uh, full view. Same thing with videos as well, I assume. All of these are app previews, but are basically the same when looking uh, through this Metro interface. Uh, you can see I can look at movies and new and upcoming uh, places. And you can see here, if I can scroll wrong, I can see a TV marketplace, a movies marketplace. So I have multiple marketplaces where I can go and view different titles, such as movies or stuff like that. Or if I have actually my videos and I have like maybe a YouTube video that I have saved up, I can actually go in here and download it and see it, uh, view it straight from the Metro interface. We also have weather as well. This was one of my favorite apps for some reason. I just loved this Metro weather app. Uh, it was so clean and so simple. Uh, I loved it myself. And if I load up the app preview here and I can turn on my location, it'll actually tell me my weather here. And it's got a very nice looking interface. You can see it's detected me in Seattle, Washington. You can see rain. It gives you a nice picture representation, gives you an hourly forecast. So it's really nice. It, it gets you simple, straightforward, and ready to go. Shows you uh, your day ahead, basically. Uh, Internet Explorer. This is the new Internet Explorer, the Metro Internet Explorer here. And you can see that down here, look, it's at the bottom now. No more top navigation bars. It's actually at the bottom. Uh, you can see places you've frequented or places that you have pinned. So I can go to MSN. You can see it loads it up nice and snappy and quick. Um, they've really said that this is their fastest browser ever. And it has simple uh, things like I can pin this now uh, and I can pin to my start menu. So if I go here and I go right here, you can see MSN.com is now pinned. To my start menu again we also have the store as well and in the store you can buy applications uh, for windows 8 so there's games like i think cut the rope they have applications like evernote so you really get you immersed in the store like they do have with the mac app store uh, you can see that they have you know top apps what are the apps of the weeks uh, the top free ones the new releases and it's been interesting because a lot of places have really took on the app marketplace and are actually creating apps for them as well. You can see there's tons of ones. There's movie apps. There's StumbleUpon, Xbox, uh, Photo Bucket. Uh, they have podcasts in here, sports, books. So the list really goes on and on and on uh, to give you a really good experience and a good look at what all this is about. And you can see it just keeps going on and on. Maps as well, find your location, get you nice. It uses Bing Maps, so it'll show you uh, your location. It'll show you what's around you. It'll show you a lot of things uh, like the Bing Maps will do. So it's really an application just based on Bing Maps. So you can see right here, I just zoomed in a central link field. Moving on, they have SkyDrive connection. They have natural SkyDrive connection, just like you would with iCloud. Uh, you can now connect to your SkyDrive account and view if you have any documents, uh, view stuff like that. Music, again, this succeeded the Zoom marketplace now. So Windows Music is all about you can buy music, you can keep it to uh, sync your music to your Windows phones, uh, to your Xbox. It's kind of your all-in-one music place, and it's right there to compete with iTunes. Also here, we can look at Xbox Live games. So now a lot of the Xbox Live games are have come to Windows 8. And you can view your Xbox Live account. You can view what's connected to your Xbox Live account, what games you've played. Games that you played on your Windows devices as well will show up right here in the Xbox Live Game Center when you sign in and it uses everything like that. Over here, we can go to the camera. And I assume this will actually, if I had a camera connected, it, it could bring in all of my camera data so it apparently doesn't see my camera that's probably because i don't have it connected but if i did have a camera connected you can use it to live view take photos uh, import photos as well moving on these are the pre-installed apps that come with windows 8 the first one is news this app preview shows you uh 
what I think brings back a lot of what I liked in their RSS reader. So you can view the latest, you know, technology news, weather news, uh, gaming, sports, all that stuff. So it's a big RSS reader and it really takes it from the Bing uh, and top marketplaces. So you can see here, uh, the SpaceX Dragon capsule has come. You see US news, world news. Uh, if I scroll along here, technology news, entertainment, politics. So you have an all-in-one news source to get your information. Likewise with sports as well. You have a dedicated sports app for all of you people who love sports. And I'm not one of those people, unfortunately. But you have all of your sports news right here in a dedicated application. You can see about hockey. Uh, you can get the MLB, NBA, FBL, TSA, GSA, whatever those acronyms are, you can see all of those games upcoming and current scores, as well as adding your favorite teams in there as well. For you travel junkies as well, you can look up flights and also weather and locations, track flights, maybe you have a relative coming in, uh, or you want to go somewhere, the weather uh, and the travel and stuff like that, it brings it all into one app uh, for you to view and travel around in, not only physically, but virtually as well. So you can take a look, uh, and if you can see here, panoramas, I can go and view a panorama of Barcelona, Spain, or Las Vegas, Nevada, New York, New York, anywhere and everywhere, you can get your travel in and done. Next up, we have uh, the stock. If you're a person who follows stock, likes stocks, but have bought in stocks anywhere, you can get the latest stock news as well as the uh the top stock the dow the s p nasdaq uh, you can see in some nice graphs you can see the ranges you can see even news as well as maybe you like facebook or you have it in netflix or something like that you can see what's up there and easily look at it if you're a big financial person and if you haven't noticed here when i go ahead and I've clicked on these applications loading up for the first time. It's actually showing me live icons to tell me what's new in that section. So I kind of like that. I think that's kind of cool. You can go and view what have you. Uh, one thing that I did see here, so I click on the news and I want to try this. There's some sort of dragging feature. See, I have this dragged and I think I can pin it to my left hand side. So now I have Bing daily uh, pinned to the left hand side and I can uh, do other stuff. I So here it is. Um, I'm in the sports app, but look, I can still view my daily news off to the left hand side here. And if I wanted uh, maybe my one of my sports news, and I can pin it to the left maybe. Nope, it looks like I can only pin one. Um, so you can pin them um, uh, in any direction. You can change the width. So maybe if I want to do half and half uh, or something like that, uh, you can see it, play around with it. And all that stuff. So it's really focused and centered around the Metro interface, which I think is great for tablets, but I'm not a huge fan. I like my desktop experience. Uh, and you can see here, I have my desktop experience, but I can also have an app there as well and go and look on it, uh, which I think is cool. I mean, it's all right. If you can see here, when I hover in the bottom right-hand side, I can get my I don't want to say start menu. This is like the new start menu uh, where you can search. So this is basically your start menu. So if I wanted to search for like command prompt, I can actually start searching for command prompt and it shows up me command prompt. And I can also see the other uh, applications that are there as well. And if I go back here, uh, I can also share as well. So if I had something that was shareable, I could share it to Twitter, Facebook, Google plus, whatever have you there. Um, you can see the devices that are connected. Uh, so if I had my phone connected or a USB stick connected, it'd show up right there and I could add stuff, sync stuff, do what you want with it as well. You have also your start menu, uh, which is that if you don't have the Windows start menu, the settings is straightforward. Uh, you can do all of your personalization, customized stuff like you would on your regular PC when going to settings. This is just the new settings interface and your power uh, shut off button is right here. You can shut off or restart. You can also view notifications as well. So if I had any notifications, I can hide them for an hour or whatever that I wanted to do. 
And that kind of really wraps up that uh, start interface that we have there. Uh, if you see over here, you can actually get the time as well. You can see I'm recording this Thursday, May 31st at 4.41 p.m. I can see my battery life and what's connected. So they have hovering uh, menus. And when you hover on the upper left-hand side, it looks like you can switch between the open application. So you can see here I'm kind of switching and switching and switching and switching and switching and switching, which is kind of cool. And then when I hover on the left-hand side, I can also point down and I can see all of the applications that are open. So if I wanted to go into finance, I can come over here to the left and then come down and then voila, there's start menu, finance, store. I can open up anything and everything that I want to. So I think that really does it for a comprehensive first look release preview of Windows 8. I know this is pretty long. I tried to blast through it. There's a lot of information, especially when it's an operating system, because there's tons of stuff in an operating system. Really, I'm going to say bottom line here, Windows 8 looks great. I love the Metro interface, but it's not for the desktop experience. It is for the tablet experience, and I wish Microsoft would look at that. I know that they're trying to combine Windows versions, what they're doing for Windows, make it one seamless thing, but I really think the Metro interface right now is not the way for desktop experiences. I like having a physical desktop, but that's just me. Again, you could like it. I mean, other people could like it. It's, this is just my personal experience and personal opinion. Of course, I may be wrong. Of course, you know, someone else is going to be right. And I'm not saying that my way of thinking is the right way of thinking. I'm just saying that I like the natural desktop experience. I like having a start menu. I like having a uh, an, an applications list. That's me. That's my frame of work. And sure, I love Metro. And if you could put that on the back burner, don't focus on it, but put it there as a secondary option for people. I want the desktop. That's just me. That's is Windows 8, of course. Also, if you have any questions for me, email me, creighton at logiclounge.com. Be sure to like and subscribe to this video. It tells us we're doing a good job. Let us know that you like the video and let us know what we should be doing in the future as well. Uh, you can follow us on our social media profiles, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, all under the username of Logic Lounge. This is Windows 8. Tell us what you think in the comments below. Comment, rate, subscribe to this video, what else you want to do, and... Take a look at the Windows 8 release preview. You can download it from Microsoft's website right now and check it out. So until our next video, we'll see you guys later.